So hello everyone and welcome to join us from wherever you are in the world. We will we only have one hour, so I want you to buckle up, pay full attention, because in the next one hour, we're going to teach you how to win. Win any element of your life. And it is not something that's ever told in schools, universities, or in a workplace. Next slide, please. So this is our agenda. We're going to be really quickly go through and what we're talking about, but we will leave sufficient time for Q&A so you can ask us any questions that you want. Next slide, please. So we are the Freedom Collective. And the reason why we call ourselves Freedom Collective is because we want to help you to win the freedom in your lives. We want you to win your financial freedom, location freedom, but also freedom from struggle, limitation, and fear. I am Polly, I'm the chair of the meeting for today, and I've got my colleagues with me. So I would like to introduce, I would like to invite and introduce themselves, starting with Jay. Good afternoon, my name is Jay. Um, I'm currently here in York, I usually live down in Devon in Plymouth. Um, I'm a mindset and habits enabler. Um, my company is Rethink Your Perspective, um, and I help people to shift their mindset so they see the world in a different way um, and also create more productive habits. Um, I come from um, environmental engineering and teaching background um, and I'm very grateful to be with you guys today. I'll pass over to John. Hi everybody, John Power is my name from Powerhouse Consultants. I'm based here in Donegal in Ireland and I work with entrepreneurs, small businesses and I, I help them achieve uh, massive goals. I also work with elite level athletes from a local level, national and international levels as well. Thank you. Nina, please. Nina? Oh, we can't hear you, Nina. Nina, can't hear you. She's checking her microphone. Sorry. Oh, there we go. Okay, is this better? Okay, yes. sorry yeah. about that. Bye -bye. Okay, so Bye -bye. I'll go again. Uh, my name is Nina. Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm the CEO of Success Catalyst, and I work with entrepreneurs, uh, business owners, and companies set up and achieve big goals. Um, besides that, I'm an author of two self-help books that I wrote once I discovered this amazing material. Stay tuned. You're in for a treat. Thank you. Oh, and it's me. So hello, everyone. I'm the Certified Career and the Success Coach. And my job, my goal is to help people to get out of the toxic jobs, get out of 95, reach the financial freedom in their lives. And then I am Jay, please. Oh, sorry, Saida. Thank you very much. Thank you, Paulie. Um, and welcome once again, everybody. My name is Saida Bello. I'm a personal development mindset coach. I live in Bristol. Uh, we've got, um, you know, four other consultants here. Um, Nina in Paris and Jay in Devon. We've got Polly in London and John in Ireland. So from all over the place, really. Um, so I did Thinking Into Results in 2018 and the program has transformed my life. So that's why we're here today to share all that information with you. And I'm looking forward to the hour with you. Thanks. Thank you, Saida. Next slide, please. So we are top consultant for Proctor Gallagher Institute. So the man on the right hand side is the founding, is the founding, is our god basically called Bob Proctor. So um, he is the godfather figure in the human potential and development. And in a very young age, he discovered a success law of practice to help him to move from in debt to become a millionaire in the space of one year. So he got inspired thinking he's never touring anywhere else. So he has been seen tour around the world, teaching his material to over 192 countries. So we are here top consultant. We, we were trained, we learned the material, we, we applied it to our life, reach the success that we want. And now we want to share this material in the next one hour. Next slide, please. So yeah, I want you to use this opportunity to put it in the comment box below as of why you are here today within this one hour. But I think one of the reasons it could be because you feel your life can be better. 
you might feel you realize that you're a little bit struggling at the moment. Uh, you didn't really know how to get better. You feel a little bit overwhelmed that you feel that you're serving others' needs rather than yourselves. You might feel frustrated in your life. You just feel you're repeating the same patterns over and over again and couldn't really go beyond that. And you, feel, you probably feel confused. You kind of feel that your life's lacking purpose and a focus and really want to know how to get better, go beyond that. So you are here for a reason. You might face any sort of struggle and defeating life, but you are a fighter. You are here because you know your life can be better. You know there are successful formulas there that you want to guarantee the success in your life. And then that's what we're going to teach you in the next one hour. Because we've been to hell and then back in our growth and journey, reach the success that we want. And we want to share with you with the system we have developed called GPS. And I would like Jane to take the next slide, please. Gotta love technical difficulties. <laughs> um, so yes, thank you for that, Polly. So the way that we help people is that we run it through as the GPS approach. Um, and GPS stands for goals, paradigms, and self-image. Um, and it's, hang on, my screen has just completely, can you still hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yep, yeah, cool. This is my computer being really crazy. So the GPS approach is how we help people to make the changes that they want in their life. Um, and the best way to explain it is to explain it in the way of a, um, of a sat-nav. So your mind is like a sat-nav. It needs to know two things to be able to show you any journey that you want it to take you on. So it needs to know where you are now, and that is a non-judgmental um, look at exactly where you are now. So your career, your relationship, your bank account, your friends, your family, your thoughts about yourself, um, your material things, all of that, just a snapshot of it with no judgment because you are where you are because of all the choices you've made previous to today so you can't change those choices you've made in the past so where you are right now is the only place that you can be so do not beat yourself up if you're not where you want to be just yet what you do today will create where you will be tomorrow and for the rest of your life so you only have control over where you are today okay and what you can do tomorrow so it needs to know where you are now and then it needs to know where you want to go so like a sat nav you need to put in the destination um, of where you want to go so i'm in york at the moment so to come over to york i had to tell my sat nav i want to go to york um, put it in but i didn't just tell it york because if i just put in york it would just choose a street and send me somewhere in york I might want to go to the other side of York and it doesn't know that because I haven't told it that. So you tell it exactly where you want to go. So I wanted to go to the castle museum in York and I put that in my sat nav. It then knows where I am now. We're using all the satellites and everything else. And then it plans you a route and your mind's exactly the same. It knows where you are now. You tell it where you want to go by setting a goal, which is an activity that we're going to help you with towards the end of this session. Um, and is also included within our program that we will tell you about a little bit later on. But you know where you are, you set your goal, and then it gives you the directions. Does it tell you every single step of the way like that? No. And that's where we are like a sat nav. So it will tell you where your next step is and only your next step. It won't tell you what you need to do in three or four or five, six steps time. Like a sat nav, you turn left at the end of the road. Only when you've turned left at the end of the road will it tell you that at the next roundabout, go straight over. Only when you've crossed that roundabout will it tell you, continue 12 miles, then turn right. And our mind is exactly the same. It can only show you one step at a time. But all you can do is to decide where you are now and really get clear on where you are now, then decide where you want to go and then wait for the ideas to come up. And as you think about more and more and more about where you want to go, you'll get more and more ideas. And as soon as you're open and um, following those ideas, the quicker your journey progresses, okay? So the first step, once you know where you are, is to set your goal. And there are three questions here. 
that once you've decided on what sort of thing you want in your life, which is the activity that we're going to share at the end, but you need, you then need to check whether that is a goal that is worthy of you. So when you think about your goal, about those things that you really want in your life, do they make you feel excited and energized and a little bit scared? Because the scared is your inner self, your paradigm, which will John will talk about in just a moment. That is it going, well, how are we going to get there? You haven't got the time. You haven't got the money. You haven't got the resources. You haven't got this. You haven't got that. What makes you think you can do that? Ignore all of that because that means that is a goal that is worthy of you because your inner self is going, ah, okay. So you work out, does that goal make you feel excited, energized, and a bit scared? Excited and energized because that's what you really want in life. So go and get it. Then you need to ask yourself, does this goal belong to you or does it belong to somebody else? Are you doing this goal because it will benefit you or are you doing it to help someone else get what they want or what you think they want? You must make sure that your goal is entirely for you. And then the third step of the goal, if you're not sure on the first first two questions and you're not really sure on your answers and you're hmm, yeah, always go back to answering what do you really want and do not worry if you then think well I really want this but I can't have it because of xyz and I'll go through that towards the end of the session when we've got a little activity to put together so I'm now going to hand over to John who is going to explain a little bit about a paradigm and why a paradigm is so important in all of this Thank you, Jay. Well, this is great so far, and it's very exciting. And we'll be breaking all this down within the program. And in the program itself, at this point, we have spoken about goals, the knowing doing gap, and the power of the mind, which brings us nicely on to what we'd be discussing in lesson four, which is the secret genie, which is all about your conscious and your subconscious mind. But just to get back to what Jay spoke about, which is a paradigm. So what is a paradigm? Maybe it's the first time you've heard this word. So a paradigm is a combination of your beliefs and your habits. So this could be beliefs that you have from when you were small. This could be, um, you know, maybe a religious belief, a political belief, a family standards, the way the way you're raised in different things. And also habits that you've that you've got along the way. Maybe some good, some bad, and we look at those in depth and to see how you can change your non-productive actions. So things that aren't benefiting you to make them productive actions, something that will move you closer to your goal. So we'll look at that in more depth and really, um, and really get down to the nitty gritty of those and show you how you can change all of those maybe negative things into positive things and basically um, turbocharge you to your goal, <laughs> which is what we all want really at the end of the day. Um, and also, it's to, because we're speaking about the power of the mind, it's to show that we actually think in pictures. And because if we said to you, your mind, what's a picture? Think of your mind. We tend to maybe think of the picture of the brain. But that isn't the mind. They're two separate things. Your brain is like your, um, it's like your computer. It's your, it's your station. It's where everything comes from, the actions that you take. And, but your mind is, is every part of you. It could be in the tip of your finger, the tip of your toe. It's, it's, it's something that we can't see. And that's why it's hard sometimes to appreciate the things that the power that the mind has. So what, what was created was this guy here, which we call the stick person. And it's to help us visually see what the actual mind is. And it's broken down into two parts here, or the three parts actually, but the mind section is the conscious and the subconscious mind. So your conscious mind really is your thinking mind. It's where you store knowledge, you know, where you go to school and college and this type of thing. And then the subconscious mind is sometimes called your heart. And this is your feeling part of your mind. And then this is your body where you take your action. So it's your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. And just to prove that we think in pictures, if I just ask you to just relax for a moment and just let your mind wander, and if I ask you to think of a picture of your front door, a picture of your front door immediately springs to your mind. And this just proves that we do think in pictures. 
And if I ask you to think of a picture of your, think of your car, a picture of your car immediately springs to your mind. And if I ask you to think of an elephant, an elephant immediately comes to your mind. Or if I even said, don't think of an elephant, or don't think of an elephant standing on one leg, holding a balloon in his trunk. Don't think of a red balloon. You're going to think of all of these things in your mind and they just flash really, really fast. And that's the power of the mind and the imagination. And that's where we want to get to because that's where all the power is. The power is in your imagination and then transferring that from theory to fact and bringing it into reality. And that's the, that's the great thing and the exciting thing about all of this. And we'll be teaching you how to do this step by step. And also just a, a quick example of the subconscious mind and how it works is if you are lucky enough to own a car, when you were first learning how to drive a car, you really had to consciously think very, very hard about the steering because you, you had everything. You have to get your two feet working at the same time, your two hands and your head, and you're trying to figure out indicators, lights and pedals and you know levers and, and all sorts. And you're consciously looking for other traffic and you're trying to steer and you're aware of everything. And it's very difficult. But the more you do it and the more you do it, it becomes easier and easier. And then when you get into a car now, it's the last thing you think. If you don't sit in your car now and think, okay, well, I'm going to put the clutch in and put it into gear and have to indicate, you know, and you literally just drive. The only thing you probably think about getting into your car is what you're going to do when you get to your destination or what you're going to have for dinner that evening or whatever it is. But the actual driving is the last thing you think of because you've done it so many times that you just do it subconsciously. You do it automatically. And that's the thing that we want to show you how to you can actually achieve the things you want by doing it so often that it becomes a subconscious thing. And it just becomes a great habit of you being successful in all those different ways. So I think that's enough for me on that. Um, and I just want to say thank you very much and pass you on to Nina, please, for self-image. Your mute, Nina. The mic again, I think. Sorry, is it happening again? Okay. You can I hear know. you now. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so now we are in the S part of the GPS system, and that is the self-image. So just as John was, uh, was talking about, self-image is a part of your paradigm. So it means that is subconscious. But first of all, what does the self-image mean? The self-image is your uh, opinion about yourself, is the way you see yourself, is the way you talk to yourself, is the way you judge whether you can or cannot do anything. And it's also the way you project yourself to the world, to other people. When you talk with someone, you can fairly easily understand what kind of self-image they have. Do they seem insecure? Can they Oh, we lost you again, Nina. Your mic, I think. Okay, I'm switching to something else. Does yeah, this? Can hear you now. Okay, let's ditch, ditch this one. Okay, so <laughs> I was talking about the fact that when you talk to someone, you can fairly easily discover what kind of self-image they have. Are they gregarious? Do they take compliments? easily some people are really having a difficulty take like taking or accepting a compliment because they don't see themselves as worthy of that but guess what your self-image controls not only the way you project yourself to to the world not only the way you feel every day do you feel excited every day wake up are you grateful for being you are you a good company to yourself not only your self-image dictates and controls all of that so that your lifestyle, your level of joy and happiness and um, everyday vibe, but also all your results, your level of success, your business, because your business is a part of your self-image, your brand, the way you project your business to the world, the way you talk to your customers, the way you your employers, uh, employees and employers see you and interact with you, it all has to do with your self-image. So the good news is the self-image can change. You can literally start redesigning the self-image and redefining who you are. And why do you, do you want to do that? Because 
you can only achieve what you think you can achieve, what you believe on a subconscious level. You may think on a rational level that, yeah, I have all the resources, I can do that. Many other people are doing this, but do you really believe it on a subconscious mind? Because you'll end up doing what your paradigm will dictate, what your paradigm is set up to. The level of vibration, the level of settings that your paradigm is set to, that will control your results. So your self-image can change depending on that. And it can change quite easily and quite quickly because once you get to know yourself and you get to know that future version of yourself that you want to become, that future version will have all your goals, all your objectives, your income, your dream house, your dream car, your dream relationship, whatever you want, your future self has it. In order for you to get that, you need to become that person. So start asking the right questions right away. How do this person look like? How do they talk? How do they express themselves? How do they walk? Do they have better habits than you? Definitely yes, because otherwise you would be getting the results that they have. So start imagining what kind of habits, for example, they have, and then try to implement them, try to set up this new persona of yourself, this future version of yourself. Once you become them, the things that this person has and does and is will come quite easily to you. And this is what a quantum leap means. A quantum leap is a huge jump in results with little to no effort. And that jump really would come to you quite easily once you become someone else. And by that, I'm not really trying to convince you to be someone you're not. I'm trying to let you see through the fact that you are much better than you think you are and you can do much better whatever you're doing you can do better your potential is quite unlimited and you can become that person you can literally design your life and become the director and the main character of your life whereas many people settle for being an extra in their own movie so you really have a choice but not only not only the choice but also the responsibility you owe it to yourself to express your full potential to live your dream life I am the proof that this thing happens and this thing works because I shifted my self-image massively. Just in a couple of months, I became someone completely different. And the things I never thought I was able to do, now I'm doing them with so much fun and so much ease. And later on, I will be telling you my whole story. But for now, I'll go back to Polly. Thank you, Nina. That's next slide, please. Ah, I think it's um, yeah. over to me. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, um, Polly, our chair. But also thank you, Jay and John and Nina for taking us through the GPS um, um, acronym. I really, really love that and the way it comes together. Um, so we've been talking at you now for about 28 minutes and we really do value your time. But this program is about implementation and it is about taking um, action. So we want you to apply these principles that we're sharing with you to your lives. Even from today's induction se session, we want you to start using it. So my question, I have a question for you. And my question for you is, which one of those three did you find really resonates with you? Do you have any goals at the moment that you're pursuing? Um, do you think that you've got anything um, such as paradigms, habits that you want to change? And then also, what's your current self-image like? Is there anything in your self-image that you think that you would like to work on? And obviously, we're going to tell you more about those. Um, that was just a taster in the program. We'll cover it in more detail. But if anyone cares to share, please enter something in the chat around goals, paradigms, and self-image, because that is how we learn. We learn by appl application, applying these principles to ourselves and reflecting on it, not just by listening to us. Um, as we said, we have done this program. We've applied it to our lives, it's made a difference, but please start applying and get into that habit of applying it to yourselves from day one. So just before I go into what the 12 lessons cover, I really also wanted to say the benefits of group coaching. We've come here as a group, we decided to do this as a group to add value to you, 
as our clients, you know, as our potential clients, we want to add value by giving you five different perspectives from diverse coaches. We're all doing different businesses, working with different types of clients, as we said in the first slide, but we want to give you that added value and that's why we've come together. Um, we will be here with you on the 12 week um, program, answering questions and supporting you every step of the way. So that's the benefit of group coaching. I also want to say a little bit my, about my story as well, because I did this program in 2018. Um, I was an employee of a local authority when I did this um, in Bristol. And um, since then, my income has gone up by six times. So in the last six years, it's gone up six times. I've had promotion after promotion. Um, we had somebody who was going to join today. I think he's um, there in the audience. And he said, wow, your career over the last, just looking at my LinkedIn profile, he said, you've done really well um, you know, for yourself in the last six years. And coincidentally, that's when I did um, Thinking Into Results. I've moved on to being a head of um, diversity to a director um, of diversity, all in that short space of time because my thinking changed. So it's really important to notice that this training does work. It's very transformational and it can help you get the results you want. And why is it so effective? It's really effective because Bob Proctor, as you can see on this slide, they've put together a hundred years of research. We will be mentioning to you so many different books, you know, Psycho-Cybernetics, which is about self-image, which is what Nina was talking about, um, Think and Grow Rich, which is the book that Bob Proctor himself um, based this whole program on. So there's a lot of information in there. It's well-structured, it's well-organized, and it'll give you everything you need to achieve transformation. And it is so effective for that reason. And the last thing I will say about the program is it's both for personal and business use. So we're going into, as John said, we're doing business um, coaching for organizations, for teams, but we also use the same material, slightly amended for personal use. So we've decided to come as a group to give people in our network, because um, it's not just the people here on Zo um, Zoom today, we've got people joining on Facebook and LinkedIn as well. And they want to, we're giving them the opportunity to join us to improve personally. But equally, if you're interested in doing this at work, get in touch with any one of us and we'll tell you how we can run this program for you in the workplace with teams and businesses. So that's all I'm going to say about this slide. Um, so next slide, please. Thank you so much. So I'll tell you a little bit about the lessons. Some of them have been covered already by my um, fellow consultants. Lesson one is about goal setting. And Jay has quite helpfully started us off with goal setting. We talk also about A, B, and C type goals on this in this lesson. So the A type goal being the goals that you already know how to achieve. You know, you know how to get a job. Most of us have had jobs before, so that's easy. But if you want to get a promotion like I did in my previous jobs, then you might think of B type goals. You set yourself a B type goal and that's a goal that you haven't achieved but you think, okay, I might be able to do it. But actually the core of this training is the C type goal. We'll be asking you, what is your purpose in life? What do you really, really want? And that is a question our mentor, Bob Proctor, asked us and asked so many consultants deep down within you, what is it that you really, really want? So we'll be teaching you that on lesson one if you join this program. And then we'll go on to lesson two, the knowing and doing gap, because we know that many people have a lot of information. We've got access to the in, um, internet. This is the information age. But for some reason, we're not taking action. We've got the information, but we're not doing it. So there's a knowing and doing gap. So it's just like anyone who's been to London and they say, mind the gap. There is a gap. How do we mind our gap? So we will teach you how, to, why that's happening to you if you're not taking the action that you need to do and help you make the right decisions to achieve the results you want. Lessons three and four will be, again, talking about the power of the subconscious mind, which John has started us off on that journey. Um, he showed us the stick person, which is something that we use when we're teaching this to show people the difference and that's it again. Thank you, John. He's showing you again, the stick person. 
we show you the difference between your conscious mind, your thinking mind, which is at the top that John is pointing to, but also the subconscious mind, which is actually the more powerful part of your mind will teach you how to do that, um, use that to achieve the results you want. Thank you so much, um, John. And then in lesson five, we will talk you through your six higher senses, because in school they teach you about, you know, your sense of touch, um, you know, your ability to see, to smell, etc. Your five senses, but actually you also have six higher senses: intuition, memory, reason, imagination, and other faculties. And we will teach you how to use that. Because what we want you to do is tap into your superpowers by using your subconscious mind. Next slide, please. Thank you, Jay. Um, in lesson seven, we'll be talking about self-limiting beliefs. For example, controlling fear, because every one of us has fears. If it's not about one thing, it's about the others. And some of these um, fears are self-limiting. It's just something that you're thinking in your, in your mind. So what we teach you is how to overcome the terror barrier, as we refer to it. We will help you crash through the terror barrier and control any fears that are holding you back. In lesson eight, we'll go on to talk about beliefs. Whether or not you believe you can or you can't, you're right. So it's whatever belief you believe that will be done up unto you. We'll also talk about in lesson nine, the magic word, attitude. Why is it important that you have a positive mental attitude? Because attitude drives your results. So if you've got a good attitude, that will help you get what you want in life. In lesson 10, we'll be talking about leadership. And we want to let you all know that every single one of you on, on this call, everyone listening on Facebook, LinkedIn, every one of you is already a leader. So you don't need to wait for the leaders in your organization or other leaders to do things for you. You have that power within you to lead the field. And we've got a program as well called Lead the Field. Very, very, um, again, it focuses on your attitude and leadership. And then lesson 11, the impression of increase, again, based on a very popular self-help book. Um, and that is about how you value and really cherish the people that you're working with, people in your life, leaving everybody with the impression of increase, giving them compliments, letting know, them know that you value them. And that is from another book, um, The Science of Getting Rich. And that will form part of the reading list that will give you as part of this program. And then last but not the least is the power of the mastermind. Really, really important to multiply your results working with other people as a mastermind. We have come together as a mastermind to develop this training and this exclusive offer that will be given you today. We've come together as a mastermind to put it together for you, but we will teach you how to create your own masterminds. So people at work, people you're doing business with, we will teach you how to create masterminds to help you achieve what you want. So that's it for me today. I am now going to hand you over to Jay. Oh, thank you, Saida. <laughs> thank you. So, um, so Saida has just gave you a very comprehensive overview on what we teach. So you might think, well, she's mentioned so many books, or maybe I could just go back and buy these books and read it myself. Yes, you can. We've all done something very similar. But bear in mind, this program is based on over a hundred years of research. I certainly know I wouldn't have time to go through the one hundred year of reading. And also, this is one thing that is very interesting about our human mind. It's extremely difficult to change our behavior, our thought, and our habits without having somebody else and come in and work with us because we all have our blind spot. So the only way to really truly change yourself and get a different result is to have a new information over and over again exposed to yourself and where it was experienced mental we can hold you accountable help you to apply the knowledge and be your confidant during your change journey because let's just be honest change can be challenging change can be very lonely so if you can work with somebody every day 
who can hold you accountable or help you to monitor your success, you will definitely be able to reach the quantum leap. And now I would like uh, to play a video from Bob to talk about the importance to work with a mentor. You know, a question that I'm asked everywhere I go, I've traveled all over the world, is it important to have a mentor? Well, I guess you can be very successful without one, and probably some people do, but I would not have accomplished anywhere near what I have accomplished without a mentor. I have had a number of mentors, and my whole life has changed dramatically. I went from going nowhere to having a business that operates all over the world. If you want to win in a big way, you want to get a mentor. It's almost like getting a direct pipeline from their mind to your mind, where you're gaining all their wisdom, all their experience, and all the studying that they've done over a number of years. And like that, you get it all in a short period of time. Are mentors important? Well, I'm gonna tell you, mentors literally changed the course of my life. Before I met Bob Proctor, I was running a thriving law practice. And I had what most people thought of as real success. But from time to time, I'd think about doing something different. And then one day, I found myself in a Bob Proctor seminar, and I decided right then and there, I wanted to do what this man was doing. I wanted to be in his inner circle. And I wanted to create a program with him to bring to the executives and the directors and the companies that I'd been working with for over the last two decades. This was a big change and I am so grateful I had Bob Proctor to be my mentor as I went through this big transition. Bob says that having a mentor changed the course of his life. Well, having Bob as my mentor changed the course of my life. It's very easy to get into a routine in life, to do the same thing over and over. I've come to learn that every day can be an exciting adventure, but we have to make it that way. And to do that, we have to stretch. We have to set aside limitations and follow our dream. Now I am Bob Proctor's business partner and co-founder of the Proctor Gallagher Institute. Like Bob, mentors have changed the course of my life and they can change the course of your life too. Let's take a look at what thinking into results is and what it could do for you, how it came about. You see, my life had changed dramatically. I went from earning nothing to earning over a million dollars a year. And I was sitting one day and I was thinking, how did all this happen? You know, I was reading Think and Grow Rich, I was studying Earl Nightingale's material, but a lot of people have read those books and studied Earl's material, and they weren't accomplishing what I was accomplishing. So I had to ask myself, what am I doing so different? You see, I had been raised to believe, if you're gonna earn a lot of money, you've gotta be really smart. I was earning over a million dollars a year, and I didn't think I was that bright. I was also raised to believe, if you don't go to school, you can't win. Well, I hadn't gone to school. I went to high school for about two months. I didn't have a good job. I owned the entire company. Now, don't get the idea that I think school isn't important. I think school is vitally important. I see study and school as being almost sacred. It's very important. But I couldn't figure out why I won, and so I started to study. I was very curious. It took me nine and a half years, and I got the dots to connect. That was after working with three or four phenomenal mentors. And when I got the dots to connect, all I wanted to do was teach it. And that's all I've been doing. And then I run into a young lady who is my business partner today, Sandy Gallagher. And she put together a master plan. And to cut a long story short, she said, Bob, I've studied everything that you teach. I know exactly what you know. I want to make a program. And she would get me in front of a camera and she'd say, explain this. And so I would. And then explain that. And she put together one of the most comprehensive programs I believe that you'll ever find anywhere in the market. Do you know with this program, you can change everything in your life in a matter of months. See, we're born when raised with the idea that it takes a long time to accomplish something. You can accomplish, bang, just like that. You don't go from A to B, you can go from A to G, just like that, with thinking into results. You see, what she's done is picked the very best out of my mind that I have studied and 
practiced for the last 50 years, and you get it in a program with 12 short, powerful lessons, and an action planner that'll spin your head around on a dime. You can walk away from this and you'd say, well, this isn't for me. Or you can say, I'm gonna do this. And you know, in six months, you're gonna need a telescope to look back and see where you started. I believe it's the most powerful program you can ever lay your hands on. Because you not only learn why you win, you learn why you're not doing what you really want to do, and then, bang, how to change it. I did create that program that I set out to create after I first saw Bob Proctor in that seminar. And that program is Thinking Into Results. I wanted to help people get out of their own way. As an attorney, I saw many brilliant people getting stuck. Despite all their diplomas and credentials, they weren't getting the results that they wanted and they didn't know why. I created Thinking Into Results with Bob to show executives and entrepreneurs and employees worldwide how to get the results they wanted by thinking in a certain way. Our objective is to get thinking into results in every home because it helps the young and the old alike expand their horizons and live their dreams. If you want to be happy, healthy, and prosperous, it's all here. Thinking into results is going to show you how to get it. If what I've said, or what Sandy Gallagher may have said, really triggered something in your mind and you're thinking maybe, contact the certified PGI consultant on this page. Hit the button, leave the information, do yourself a favor, sit down and talk to them about what this program can do for you. This very well could be the decision that will change the rest of your life and you'll enjoy it forever. Do you know a question? Thank you. I would like to pass on to John, please. Hi, thanks, Polly. Wow, I, I love watching that video. <laughs> it's, re it's really inspiring about why you need a mentor. Um, yeah, the, the three questions, what we wanted to do at this point is, oh, by the way, please post any questions you have in the chat um, and the other consultants will happily answer any queries that you have or, you, or you're welcome to contact any of us afterwards as well also. But the three main things, we just wanted to help you with, with some of the things that frequently ask questions. And and one of the things is usually on price and uh, and value that can be got from the, from the program with regards to the cost of it. And the other is, um, you know, have I got the time? I don't have time to do this study. And, and then the other one is, well, I've done programs like this before and they haven't worked for me. And what, what makes this one so different? But if I may, I just want to touch on one little thing first about why you need mentorship and why it's so important. Everybody, all of us consultants here, we've all been through this program and we all have received the mentorship. We all have received the accountability and we all are really successful in what we do because of it. And that's not a boast in any way. It's because we're no different than you. If we can do it, you can do it. If Bob can do it, we can do it. And so can you. Anybody can do this. It's just to get that little bit of help. It's to just get that little bit of a hand up to get you to the place you want to be. And me personally, I've, I've, you can do this on your own. You know, to, to be honest, I don't know anybody that has done anything on their own. I really don't think there's any such thing because you need help with IT at some point. You need somebody to help with merchandise and you need somebody to print your invoices. You need somebody to uh, do sales for you. You need somebody to work with you. So there really is no such thing as working on your own. It's about, it's how quickly you want to get there. And that's what being a part of this can do for you. And that's what it's done for all of us. Uh, like I was, I was at a point in my life with business. I've tried so hard and I mean so, so hard working since I was 14 out in my own working for myself. And I got to the point where I'd lost everything. I had a house repossessed. I had my uh, I, account cleared out, a house taken from me. You know, I'm, I'm, everything was gone. I literally had people coming to the door repossessing vans and cars. And and at one point, I actually was cashing checks that I knew were going to bounce in the supermarket because I hadn't got any money for food. I literally hadn't couldn't buy any because I couldn't get access to cash. And only 
And I felt so shite because the people I was handing the check to, I knew it wasn't going to clear. And the only reason they were cashing it is because they knew me. And I mean, how bad is that? I have to say I'm proud of the fact I did repay everybody from that and I don't owe anybody anything. Um, but it still was a huge low point. And through these programs, this program, sorry, and these types of things that we're teaching, I'm blessed with the life I have now. I mean, I've built my own house. I live on a beautiful part, a part of the, the planet in a country where I'm living on two acres. Um, I work as and when I wish. I have all the money that I want. And again, this is not boastful in any way. That's just, I'm just really proud of that because I know of the, the help that I received here. And that is the only way I was able to achieve this. So I just want to make that clear first. And, but to just quickly get back to the, the three points, the, the cost point of view, on average, the consultants charge somewhere between 2000 to, sorry, 6,250 um, and upwards in some cases. But what we want to do is we want to make this um, accessible to everybody. We really do, because we really want everybody to get as much benefit as they can from this. So what we've done is we've we've put together this group of consultants and this collective, and we're offering this for 1200 And the reason we have this for 1200 is because we want it to be cost effective for people and to get them in and, and to learn. And you're also not only when we're doing this, we were doing this with one person, you're getting five of us, you're getting um, inspired by five people who have been through this and they, they can hone in on different things that maybe something that Saida has that maybe I don't or something that Jay or Nina's experienced. So there's not much between the lot of us that we haven't done or at least have other clients that have done. So there's not much that we can't help you with. I actually don't think there's anything, nothing we couldn't help you with, to be honest, because whatever we don't know, we've other consultants that know. So we really can get you any information that you wish. The... The other part is, oh, by the way, yeah, please, again, reach out to any consultant if you have issues about the cost or you want to find a little bit more how to make a payment or they're happy to help you and discuss anything that way. Um, the other thing is about time. Well, from a time point of view, just want to make it uh, emphasize the fact that this is not school. It's not, you know, we're not asking you to study for hours on end. And, you know, we're not asking you to hand in homework with deadlines. And, it's you know, it's not that kind of a stressful thing. It's a pleasurable thing. you got to remember, this is something that a goal that you want. This is something that you want to achieve in your life. And we're going to show you exactly how to do that and how to implement this step by step. And it's not just on a whim. This is a scientifically proven formula that we have all done and we know it works. And we believe in our heart that we can teach you. Otherwise, we're not going to we're not going to stand here and say and put ourselves on the line by saying we guarantee this will work if you put the work in. And that is what we're saying. We do guarantee this will work if you put the work in and you want to work with us. We will show you exactly what to do and how to achieve any goal that you wish. And that is that is the truth. And the other is, well, I've done other programs similar to this before and I haven't worked. And why is this one any different? Well, the reason this one is different now, I've done lots of them before and other consultants you speak to here, they've done different programs before as well. What makes this one so special as i said it's a scientifically proven formula there's no rah rah about this whole thing it's exactly uh, no don't get me wrong it's not boring it's very exciting but it's not something that's going to stress you out in any way it's something that's very pleasurable and it's also i'll give you i'll give you an example i studied a lot previously with tony robbins and he learned from uh jim rowan and if you listen to jim rowan on youtube he's a lovely voice and i really like listening to him and Tony Robbins actually worked directly with him. He used to go around to all the different conferences and stuff and set things up for him and set up his desk and his papers. And so he learned directly from him. And so I did work with Tony Robbins in different events. And although as great as they are, you know, there's lots of music. It's like a concert, a festival when you go in, you know, and there's all music going and everything's going off. And as I was saying before, he arrived on a zip line one time and onto the stage and it was a great, you know, explosions and it was, it was madness. But as good a crack as it was, it didn't do me any good because it was all motivation and, and no substance, but not for me. Um, honestly, it doesn't work for everybody, but that wasn't for me. And what I found was as brilliant that it was. It was like going to a concert. When you come home from a concert, you're going, wow, that was brilliant. Uh, but that's it. Then you're like, oh, well, you know, back to normal. That's that. And that's not what this is about. 
there's plenty of motivation. We'll help you. We'll motivate you in any way we can. And we'll help and we'll support you. But it's not just that. There has to be more substance than just motivation. Because motivation can only take you so far. And we will show you that the goal that you set, that Jay spoke about at the beginning, the goal that you set is going to be so big that it has to be bigger than the problems that you have. Because if you just set a goal and then you come across some big problems, then the goal fades away. That's why people say, oh, well, I'll, I'll do this thing when the kids grow up or I'll do this thing when the kids leave school or I'll do this thing when that bill's paid and you never do the thing. So that's because the goal isn't big enough and we show you how to achieve that. Um, and using exactly what we said before, the, the law of vibration. Um, I think that's it. Oh, sorry, just want to read one tiny little thing about this little paragraph that, that jumped out at me. And it's from... It's from a paragraph from the rules of being human. And what it means is what we're going to show you is how to get from here to there, there being the goal that you want to achieve. And this little paragraph explains it well. It says, there is no better place than here. When your there has become here, you will simply obtain another there that will look again better than here. So, so I'll leave you to figure that one out. <laughs> Thank you very much. And I'll bring you on to Nina to tell our story. Thank you. Thank you, John. Um, can everybody hear me okay? Yeah, I guess so. All right. I'm super excited to tell you my story because the fact that I talked about the self-image earlier that I chose this part of the GPS is no coincidence because this self-image was the main turning point for me, the main thing that I changed that completely shifted my life. The story happened a couple of years ago, just maybe three years ago. We we're Yeah, 2021, literally. Uh, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease and that autoimmune disease was MS. I don't know if you guys know, but MS is quite um, a hard one to, uh, to go through and to live with. So uh, my first reaction was, what did I do to myself? What did I tell myself that my brain started working or fighting against itself, against my own body? I figured out immediately that the reason is not hereditary. The reason is not environmental. I had quite a, um, a healthy lifestyle and everything. I went to the gym. I slept eight hours a day. Everything I was supposed to do, I was doing, drank a lot of water. Anyway, this disease came out as a result of my thinking. And um, I figured it out quite quickly because I knew at some point that my self-talk and my self-beliefs were not as they supposed to be, were not as positive and as constructive as they should be. So I started looking for an answer. I started looking for um, any explanation of how did that happen and how can I change things? Because the belief I had at least is that I can change things. So I stumbled upon um, uh, a Bob Proctor video on YouTube and the rest is history. Bob has a very different and simple way in explaining things in a very scientific way. He can literally put things into an, an equation. And um, I'm a very intellectual person. I love talking spirit and spiritual things and energies and everything, but I need things to make sense at the end of the day. As John was saying, at the end of the day, if I'm just super motivated and I don't know exactly what the recipe is, I cannot do anything about it. I cannot change things. I will just feel hyped for the couple of hours that I'm in that conference. And after that, it's it's gone. So with Bob, that was different. So I started doing the exercises that Bob was recommending uh, I immediately signed up to his program and I started doing the exercises. And the more I did, the more I had the awareness that I can do more. The first exercise I remember was about setting up a goal and starting with a want list, not a wish list, a want list. What do you want? That was the main question that Bob will always ask you. What do you want? So I started accepting or setting goals that were quite modest, well, quite small, because I didn't believe I could have that much until I did, until I believed that I could have much. And the more I asked myself the question, the more at ease my mind was becoming. And the more my mind was free, the more I could see clearly. So I saw my purpose. I saw my goal. I wrote it down. I have it on a card. I carry the card. 
everywhere I go. And guess what? Just in a couple of months, literally three to four months maximum, I was completely cured from my disease. Uh, the symptoms has completely disappeared. I feel more healthy and fit than ever. And I'm living my best life. I'm literally now in my car in Italy, traveling. I've been traveling for a whole month. I can afford this lifestyle because it's no coincidence. It's no accident. I um, increased my income by at least 10 times since I started this. I published two books. I had promotion after promotion in my job until I left my job. And I started this business because I want more than anything to help everyone figure out what they want, dare to ask the question what they want, and then work on the self-image because I know exactly how to change it. I became this person that I wanted to become, and I have now the things that this person has. It only took me a few exercises and repetition. Repetition is key. And also allowing myself to really set up a worthy goal, a worthy goal of myself. The goal should be worthy of me not me worthy of the goal because um, one of the main limiting beliefs is that am I worthy of that? Do I deserve that? Yes, the answer is yes. No matter who you are, no matter what you're doing, you deserve to live your best life and you can. It all starts with a self-image and it all starts with daring to ask the right questions. You don't care about the how, you only care about the what. What do you want? Ask the question over and over again. The more you ask, the more flexible your mind is going to become. And the more you will have inspiration to new ideas, to new thoughts, and to new goals. Until you find the right one for you. The one that is really worthy of you. That was my story. And um, I thank you all for listening. And I'll go back to Polly now. You're on mute, Polly. Thank you, thank you, thank oh, you. Okay. <laughs> I think this is my slide, so that's okay, yeah, Polly. Thank you so much, um, Nina, for your testimony. That was very, very emotional indeed. Uh, just really showing another example that thinking into results and these um, principles can help, not just in your financial life, but in terms of your health and other aspects of your life. Um, we had another... Um, consultant who was talking about helping her son who was struggling with depression and also she had an autoimmune disease and she was able to cure that um, you know within a few months of joining the program she shared a testimony live um, and it was just again very very powerful that was a consultant from Germany so please do get involved with this uh, material because it really does work um, a reminder John has already said that this investment is actually £6,250. Um, and um, it depends on which region you are in um, because there are various exchange rates, but it is around £6,250. We have decided to do this as a group coaching um, just to really support people um, in our networks, whether it's LinkedIn. I know people are listening from LinkedIn. Some people are listening from Facebook. And then we've got people in the Zoom room today um, and others have sent us their emails. We'll be emailing them this offer. So please do um, consider it. You will get 12 weeks of powerful coaching. You will get all the materials, workbooks, worksheets, and also MP3 recordings of you know, the, the programs, as well as this hour that we will give you to support you. We will be your accountability partners um, over the next 12 weeks from when we start on the 31st. And also, you may still have some questions. John has done his best to answer some of the questions you've got now, but we know you may have other questions. So if you do, please do contact one of us. What we'll do is we'll book you a 30 minutes laser focus coaching session. We can answer any more questions that you've got, talk you through some of the things that you can expect and even start talking about your goals. So we'll give you that opportunity to start um, considering what your goals are so that we can start working you through it. And if you've got friends or family who may be interested, please do provide them with our details. As long as there's somebody within your network, we'll speak to them and we can also put them on the program. So please do join us on the 31st, but um, do contact us by the 27th. So you've got 10 days from today. Contact us by the 27th of August 
if you would like either a laser um, focus session or you just want to jump on the offer quickly and join us on the 31st. So I am now going to hand over to Jay. Hello, hello, hello. Just getting the slide to actually change. Okay, so as mentioned previously, I know we are very, very close to our time now. I'm going to rush through this as quickly, but still make sure you understand it. So when you are setting a goal, you need to ask yourself, what do I want? And the best way to do this is to get yourself really calm and quiet. For me, that means being outside, um, rubbing my feet in the grass, um, taking some deep breaths, doing a quick meditation, doing a yoga session, anything that gets you really calm and quiet. And then you simply get a piece of paper and a pen or pencil and you write down everything that comes to mind when you ask yourself the question, what do I want? Now, as you write, you are going to find that the thoughts are going to come up. I can't do this because I have no money. I don't have the time. I don't have the resources. I'm not good enough. What are the neighbors going to think? What's my partner going to think? Blah, blah, blah. Ignore all that. If you can think of something that you want and you can see yourself with it, you can achieve it. The how, as I said, in the G part of our GPS system, the how is not entirely up to you. All you need to do is know where you are now know where you want to go, the goal, what you want, and then your mind becomes your sat-nav and tells you how to get there, okay? So you simply write a list of what you want and do not worry if you don't think you can get them right now because if you can think of them, then you can get them. Now that list, I want you to bring to the session on the 31st or if you are registered before the 24th, as we said on the previous slide, bring that to your laser focused coaching call um, and we will help you then turn that list into a goal that is worthy of you. OK, so your next steps, your calls to action, you are going to get in touch with the person who invited you to this session. If you have stumbled across us by accident, then number one, very, very big welcome and thank you for your attention. Again, if you're watching this on the replay and you're not quite sure um, who invited you to it, then please just get in contact with whichever consultant resonates with you the most. OK, all our contact details will be on a slide in just a second. But get in contact with a consultant, with a consultant, um, share your wants and have a conversation about how this can work for you. You then simply sign up to this coaching for the 12 weeks and you will also receive the recording and your next steps. OK, so um, I know we are slightly over. Um, there have been a couple of questions come up in the um, in the chat. Um, so what I'm going to do is if you have any further questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below the lives if you are watching there. Um, put them in a message to one of the consultants. Um, drop us an email. All of our contact details are on this slide and I'm going to hand back to Polly to bring us in for a landing. Thank you all. Thank you for a super powerful session um, from all of my colleagues. And thank you very much for your full attention. I believe you enjoy the story as much as I do. You know, stories are ever powerful, ever inspiring. But if they can do it, so can you. We want you to truly believe in that. And we are ready to show you how you can achieve the success that you want. Success is no solitude. You will need support throughout the whole way. And that's why we're here to support you. So if you have any questions, you would like to get a support, you would like to get a mentor to help you to reach your success, please reach out to any one of us and we'll be able to take you to the next step. But then, and also remember, remember Jay's, uh, Jay's task, start writing down your, what you want in your life. Doesn't matter the condition, doesn't matter capacity, it doesn't really matter. What we want is to make you get your wand visualized, make it as a, start getting a concrete. Then it's only when you know what you want, you'll be able to achieve it. So that's all for now. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you all. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Thank you, Polly. Thanks all. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. Thank you.